Alright guys, so today we're going to address a bug that comes with uh, Ubuntu 13.10 running uh, Unity and Eclipse 4.3.0 and 4.3.1. When uh, you open Eclipse, uh, the menus do not originally drop down, and that's a problem because many of us use Eclipse on a regular basis, myself included. So what we're going to do is fix this because as you may have noticed these menu things right here don't drop down. So I'm going to show you how to fix this and also in this tutorial I'm also going to show you how to lock it to the launcher because I figured that's a lot nicer than having to go through your file explorer or making a link to it. So the first thing you're going to have to do is go to Eclipse's website. Um, Eclipse. Clips.org and download the appropriate uh, version for your distribution of Linux. And this is only a problem with Linux, as far as I know. I also run Windows, and I haven't noticed it in there, but I don't use it as much for programming. So, uh, download the Linux 64-bit, uh, and then use the Archive Manager to uh, uncompress it. And remember that directory where you uncompress it to. Also, one of the problems I've noticed I had, I don't know if everyone else is having it, but it says you don't have permission to do this. We're going to take care of that because we're all going to be using super user, and I think that should take care of it, but the folder I'm using is an old installation from, I think, Juno. So it was a Juno upgrade that uh, I upgraded to Kepler, so... Uh, I have had I have had this pre-installed, so I don't know if you have permission errors. I can't really help you right there right now. If that doesn't work, then I guess you're SOL. So the first thing we're gonna do is get your super user superpowers, and you need to copy with read permissions uh, Eclipse, and you need to remember the directory you used Eclipse or download or uncompressed Eclipse under. So for me, it'd be home will downloads Eclipse and then the directory you would copy it to and for this tutorial we're going to copy it to OPT and I've already done this so I'm not going to do it again it takes a few seconds so don't like panic if it takes like 40 seconds to do um, the next thing we're going to do is open up Eclipse or we're going to make an Eclipse.desktop file in gedit so I've already made one so it should pop up. Alright, so Eclipse desktop file is a text document that uh, essentially tells it what to do. I don't necessarily, I don't really know what the hell it does, but um, what we have here is the fix for the bug and you need to create a desktop file and and that desktop file needs to include this line here uh, but the directory would be different because we've because we're gonna be locking it to the launcher and if we want to lock it to the launcher uh, we as far as I know you have to put it in the OPT folder so I guess I could probably just copy this in this uh, Eclipse desktop as a text file in the description you should probably look for that because I know this will work and as long as you follow my tutorial this directory will be just fine and if you want to put uh, an icon here you can browse the icon or put a directory to the icon of Eclipse you want to use there's also another way to do that and that's what I did um, and it works just fine so either way you want to do it I'll show you how I did it later um, but what you need to do uh, the, the bug fix is right here um, it's a special command I'm not even really sure what it does but Ubuntu menu proxy equals zero and then it just runs Eclipse out of the directory so it would be like OPT Eclipse and then Eclipse right here would just run that so that's what it would do um, this is the default icon I didn't use that I'll show you what I did in a few minutes um, so then you what you would do is save this close it have the terminal bitch at you a little bit. And it'll go da, 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 da. Most of these warnings are already because I made one of these already, so that's why you shouldn't get that many warnings. Uh, the next command we're going to do, I'm also going to get an error because I've already done it, but it would be desktop 
file install eclipse.desktop do that cool I guess it didn't make an error um, now the next thing we're gonna do is make a symlink in cd root user uh, or root local bin. change that type in ln dash s opt root eclipse root eclipse and again that'll just uh, show uh, that'll just that's the working directory for this right here so the application of eclipse um, I'm gonna run this I'm gonna get an error I know that because I already the file already exists and the other thing if you want to change the icon this is what I did uh, I used the work a different directory for the icon so um, let's see yeah this is the icon I use this is the picture I downloaded it from the internet um, just make sure you copy it to user share pix maps and then just save it as I think you can only use a PNG or an X XM or XPM pictures for that so keep that in mind and then when you're done with that uh, just click enter for shits and giggles all right and then exit and then exit again so the terminal's gone now you can just open up Eclipse and actually you're gonna have to I think you might have to restart your computer first but uh, you should now be able to have the whole working menus in Eclipse so if this uh, has any problems let me know you can try testing what I know because I truly don't really know what I know at this point it's 3.33 in the morning and I'm all jumped up on Mountain Dew and Red Bull so um, if you have any questions go ahead and ask uh, I'll see what I can do I don't really make YouTube videos a lot so we'll see what this does and you can always Google it and go to Ask Ubuntu um, the Ask Ubuntu leak link on the left here, I'll link this in the description. This is how to lock it to the launcher, and this on the right is how to uh, make or fix the bug. And if you, as I said before, if you have any questions, ask. I have no idea what I can do, but I'll see if I can help. Thank you guys. And as maybe like a little 10 second append to the last video, you should now be able to search Eclipse in the in the dash. And if you want to put it in the launcher, all you do is click it and drag it in. So, yeah, you probably could have figured that out on your own, but whatever. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.